Hi everyone, it's Melba here again from Relax My Cat Channel and today let's talk about things that you should do and things that you can do if you have a bitey and scratchy little monster. So how you can correct such a behavior and how you should react to it. So the first way to address your cat's biting is to look at the reasons why they are biting you or scratching you in the first place. So it could be a number of things. Um, it could be playtime aggression, it could be um, petting aggression, it could be that your cat is simply frustrated or bored, or it could be that your cat is asking you to stop doing something you're doing, but you just don't hear them. Play sessions provide the best opportunity to teach your cat that it is not okay to bite, claw, scratch or play attack you when playing. However, it is completely natural for a cat to act out on their hunting skills in a playtime session. But the cat should only be allowed to play using their paws and not their claws. If you think that your cat goes after you during playtime and this is not just an incidental contact, call a time out. So if your cat acts out by scratching or biting you, um, just stop the playtime immediately and turn your back on the cat. Do not resume playtime and ignore your cat completely for at least a minute. So after a few cycles of this, your cat should get the message. If your cat does not get the message, you can send even a stronger message. And in this way, you can change the scenery. So if your cat doesn't get it, just put the, the cat into a separate room for a few moments. So in this way, the cat will um, make a connection between biting you and fun times ending. If your cat becomes overstimulated at five minutes of stroking and petting, then please stop at three minutes. Don't push your cat over the edge and then wonder why in the world is he acting out on me. Remember that in this situation, the cat will probably give you some pre-warning signs such as dilated pupils or they will wag their tail. Once you see these signs, stop right away unless you want to be, be bitten or scratched. Um, also remember this, some cats love being stroked and petted and they enjoy human contact, whereas others might enjoy human contact such as being sat on your lap, but they just don't like to be stroked. And that is something that you, you just have to accept because you cannot change the basic personality of your cat. If your cat is attacking you outside of a playtime, then probably he needs to drain some of his energy. Spend time playing with your cat and make sure you include some playtime sessions, even if they're just five, 10 minutes during the day um, and play with your cat until you can see that the cat is tired because a tired cat is a lot less is going to be a lot less likely to attack you than the one that is bored and frustrated and has a lot of misdirected energy. And finally, never hit, shout, chase, or lose temper with your cat because that will terrify the cat or just make it completely confused. The first thing that you should do when your cat acts out is to just stop what you're doing, stop touching the cat and just freeze and ignore the cat because that is acting, that is the opposite to acting like a prey object because prey object would move away from the cat and so the cat would chase it. Um, and also after freezing, you can stand up and walk away in a dismissive fashion and in that way your cat will receive the message. And this is it guys. Thank you all for watching and I do hope that you have found this useful. If you have any personal experience with dealing with a little bitey and scratchy monster, please leave a comment below. Any advice, any tips, questions, please just pop it down below. And please don't forget to subscribe as well. And I will see all of you here next week. Bye! Did you know that some black cats aren't actually black? That is because black cats happen as a result of a recessive gene which suppresses their tabby patterns. However, in most cases, the gene doesn't suppress the tabby pattern completely and you can still see the traces of it in certain lightings.